Um, it's a mouthful or an earful, and there are many, there are many questions to ask. Mm. Let me start from President Muhammadu Buhari. I, I'm talk, I'm coming to you, comrade. Okay. Let me start from President Muhammadu Buhari. He's being commended for trying to set up a specialized police. Tinubu, sorry. What, sorry, sorry, sorry. My apologies, um, President Bola Ahmed. You know, I'm wondering, what is a specialized police force? We so all have one in marine, in yeah, yeah. forest. So what is, know, what is a specialized police force? That's one. Then let's also look at how tolerant it appears the government is with regards to Mieti Allah's um, nomad vigilante and juxtapose it side by side government's reactions to Amotekun, to the ESN, to MEND, NDPV. F. And remember that ADS has just picked up the um, uh, the Yeti Allah president. They have denied it. Oh, they, they have, have denied picking him up. Okay. So, so um, but they actually agree, agree, until, uh, agreed that they picked him up. Until they agree that they have picked him up and he's in their custody, let's believe that they, like they said, they didn't pick him up. You know, um, the third question is why do we have to have individuals and groups coming up with these um, vigilante cells. We have a Nigerian army. We have a Nigerian navy. We have a Nigerian air force. And we have the Nigerian police. Now, even the Nigerian civil defense, security and civil defense corps have been armed. And in the previous story, we saw how they are also patrolling the Nigerian waterways with regards to security, are we a joke? All right, come right. Uh, first and foremost, we all know the antecedents and the personality of um, uh, Isa, Prophet Isa El Buba. And uh, with all due respect, <coughs> I applaud his sagacity and guts with which he brings such very, 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 very serious issues to the fore. Like you asked a very, very fine, fundamental question. What happens to our, our general security outfit and forces put together? And without mising words, I must stress the Mayati Allah organization is yet to clear access from the minds of Nigeria in the minds of Nigerian people from the kind of things it has been associated with over the years. Now, we were in this state when the former governor was talking about the vigilante structure for River State and it was a no no. By all assumptions, even people from River State that were in the opposition party at the, at, the, at the time, we all directed it to elections and politics, which made some sense because of the kind of character, uh, kind of personnel of the persons that wanted to put it in place. If at that level a weekend led administration could not be supported to the to the end to secure a vigilante structure, is it the Mieti Allah group? Whose former secretary of North Central came out to say that they attacked a community on a grant of their uh, 300 cattle or 30 cattle that were killed at some point in time and justified it on, on, on public space? Is that the kind of organization that wants to give us a security structure or a vigilante architecture that wants to see? Listen, I never to make this statement. Posterity will be our, all our judges. Every man will die one day. But we must be remembered for either our contributions, our actions, and inactions. Let it be on record. That if the Tinubu led administration want to fold their hands because maybe for one reason or the other it came to power by means with only the Nigerian people that are here to collect with Nigerian people because we cannot, we cannot understand and with the Vladimir uh, became our president, but yes, he's our president today, and we give God glory for it. But be that as it may, if he wants to support the military Allah group to get this vigilante structure put in place, I can make people to say that both men, IPOP, um, uh, Amoteku, uh, OBC, yes, all the organization, it's everybody that has, has a structure. We have to put their foot on the ground because we will not be pretentious about what we already see as the shadows, of, the, 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 the funny shadows that are already staring us in the face. Let us not forget that this entire Allah group took responsibility for so many funny things that transpired in the Bahari administration. And to a large extent, it came to the fore when the Bahari began became government because they say it's their grand patron. And people like us came on the fore to the front buttons of, of newspapers and, 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 and media houses to let the world understand that there is a sinister plan we do not understand and we must resist it by, by, all, uh, by all means possible. Now they say that they are moving, being able to make, produce uniforms for these people. Is that what going to say? The just going to say they are not aware of the training process of this number of men. But when they train with cutlass and machetes, or they were trained with, um, um, with um, uh, 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 weapons, and now they cannot all cannot uh, other weapons. 
with this with the tension and the pressure we have in, in, in the in Nigerian state. Do not forget that less than 54, 54 days to the elections, we had over 53 general uh, commanders of the Boko Haram that left that that that, we are, we are, we are, that, that broke out of the Niger prison until date. We do not have any information about their whereabouts up until now. And whether we like it or yes, these people have, have been and judged or accused at one point or the other to have affiliation with their military. I'm on national television, I'm on a live stream, and I'm making both to say this. Every man will die one day. But it should be on record that everybody has a role to play. And if the government and stakeholders of this country choose to fold their arms and support bad character and support what it is that should not function, then we should, uh, we should all call the stakeholders of the country to a bluff. All right. It is not enough for someone right. to call himself a mighty man, sit somewhere in Abuja, or sit somewhere in a, a canoe, or sit somewhere in Lagos, and be a, a, a grandstanding as if you are a very strong man from the south. Our political leaders from the south have to stick up and call the speed the speed, speak to uh, power for what it is. All right. The president must not, on no account, that group should be completely disbanded. People that will imagine such things should be arraigned and ask questions. Because we are seeing what's happening in northern Nigeria today. We are seeing what's happening in, in even in the city as it, as, it, as it stands right now. All right, and thank you. I don't know the guys are saying vigilante structure. No, it's a no-no for me.